Hello everyone and welcome to my channel just do it dot career we are now back with the new video lecture series for data engineers that is for ETL process in Microsoft Azure so there are three major components that are going to be the part of ETL process one is AZ copy another is Azure data factory and third one is Azure data bricks one by one we'll go into the depth of each component and each component have their sub components so we'll see in the lecture first there come az copy az copy is a command line utility provided by microsoft to transfer a file from one place to another it might be of single file or multiple file or maybe a folder now the latest version of az copy is v10 below is the link given to download the az copy utility now let us consider you have a file in your own laptop or maybe your desktop and now you are willing to move that file to uh, some storage in the cloud or maybe Azure cloud is having a storage account with uh, some container in it and you want to move your file to that container so how you will do that if you are not aware about the, what is Azure storage account and what is the container so I have a video series called as Microsoft Azure for beginners so in that you can find a video lecture for Azure storage account so if you want to move that particular file from your computer to the cloud you need to download the AZ copy utility in your computer once it is done you can easily use your PowerShell a command line or maybe a terminal in Mac or Linux operating system so this is the command actually so wherever you have downloaded az copy utility go to that particular folder and use this uh, utility called as az copy now after az copy cp means a copy and then after copy you need to specify your source path that is the path of the file that you want to copy and then you have to type the destination path that is a path of azure cloud environment where you want to put that file with the key or the SAS token generated by yourself okay guys this is for a single file if you want to do that you can use this command and move your single file to the blob container but what if you have a multiple file or maybe you have a folder so you have to use the another command which is just adding up the mode what type of mode you want to use most of the time we use a recursive mode all the folder inside this folder will be copied into your destination this is called as recursive mode if you don't use this it will just copy the contents in this particular folder this is all about the theoretical things let's go for the practical demo so for the practical we first have to launch our azure portal that is portal.azure.com where you will see this front home page in that home page let us create a storage account I want the storage right so I'll go to the storage here I have a storage account or maybe I can create a new resource group demo for a z copy right okay so let's go ahead and type in the storage account name a z copy demo storage I hope that is not taken okay if it is taken just type some number so it will be accepted okay I'll just select the default location which is East US and select the account kind as storage account v2 which is the latest one and select the replication pattern as a local I don't want to customize this storage account so I'll just go ahead and create and review the storage account so let it validate the validation is running behind and yes it is passed now that I can create a storage account so once the storage account is created what we will do is we will open the terminal in our local machine and use the AZ copy utility till the time I just I'll just download the AZ copy utility I'll just type it on a Google and it will provide me the page or a link for cop downloading the AZ copy. I'm using a Mac OS so I will be downloading it for Mac. If you have a Windows 64-bit 
you can download it from here 32 bit you can download it from here and if you are having a Linux machine you can download it from here I'll just extract that file right once it is done I am inside the folder where I get this utility of AZ copy let me run that utility so it is saying that this app is downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it yes open it and yes it is done so process is completed so once this is done you can easily use this uh, AZ copy utility to do your stuff so before that I'll just go to get some information about this utility and I'll just find out where exactly the location is for this utility and I'll go to my command prompt and say cd for that particular location so once I am there in that location I am able to now use my command to move the file to Azure storage account but before that I want to make sure I have already created my storage account yes so the deployment is completed guys so what we can do is we can go to the storage account section and I can find my storage account that I have created which is AZ copy demo storage 0 so this is my storage account where I will just create a container container and it must be a private one so that nobody else can access that storage account okay all right guys once this is done let me just go to that container and see the properties of that container so I have this URL for this particular container I'll copy this URL and I'll make a note of it maybe in my notepad or text edit okay so this is my link to the container now another thing that I want to make sure from this particular portal is I want the access to this particular container so I will use the shared access signature that is called a SAS token I need to generate the SAS token for this container so what I'll do I'll just give the appropriate permission that I want to give to that particular user and I'll say what is my start time and what is my end time for this access and I'll just generate the SAS token once it is generated I'll just copy the SAS token which is here the SAS token I will just paste it in front of my containers location okay so I am ready with my destination key as well as the destination location okay so I'll go to the command line once again and I'll select my file that I want to move here in this container so let me show you this container currently is empty I'll show you using the storage explorer the prop container that I have created is empty for now okay guys now that we are ready with our container and with our source path and the destination path with the key we are now going to go to the terminal window now I'll check my present working directory and it is the same that it's a it's a download folder where where I have downloaded the utility in this folder and here I can use my command now so my command would be dot slash az copy I'll just press the tab to complete it and now I'll type copy activity because I want to copy from the source which is this so I'll paste the source name and then I'll copy the destination path which is this and paste it here once this is done I'll just press the enter key and now my file is uploading once it is completed it will say number of transfer completed is 1 number of failure is 0 so my file is now uploaded let me check it in the container go to some other folder and come back to the container yes my file is there okay this is my file right so why it is renamed as a new 
is because I have specified the name as new over here. Now I will try to copy the whole folder where this file is already present. So what I will do, I will just modify something in my earlier command. I will go back and remove that particular file name and just keep the folder name as is and say recursive. Okay, I am ready with my command. Let's hit the enter key and see the magic. Okay, the file uploading is completed. Three, three files were there in that folder. And let me go to my portal and just refresh this page. And let's see, there is a folder named as new. Inside that folder, I got my folder that I have mentioned there in the command. And that was containing three files, which includes one image that I have copied there. So this is how you can upload a file or a folder using the AC copy script. There is one more way like you can even move a file from S3 bucket to your blob storage using AZ copy utility. It's very simple guys you can just go to the page which is AZ copy uh, which is a page by Microsoft so it will help you out to find out the command which will be used to copy uh, the uh, copy the files from S3 bucket. To the blob storage. So for the authorization here, first you have to uh, you have to set the environmental variable, which is the access key and the secret key. So both the variable once they are declared, you can you are good to go with your command, which is provided by Microsoft. So this is how you can use the AZ copy utility for better and speed up the process of data movement from one place to another. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to see how you can use Azure Data Factory, that is ADF. Before I close this session, I would like to tell you something about AZ copy, which is very necessary and very important thing. If you think so, that AZ copy is a small utility that is provided by Azure, and it's no matter if we got a good understanding or not, but my friend, I would like to tell you AZ copy is the best recommended tool when you have terabytes of data there in your on premise, or maybe let's say in S3 bucket waiting for migrated to azure you have this az copy as the best utility to migrate the data in very less amount of time where if you choose azure data factory for doing this stuff it may take a days long to migrate it so please be sure that az copy is a best utility that microsoft had developed to migrate the data to Azure. Thank you.